What is going on guys for today's 101 we're going to be talking about just building basics so let's say you just spawned in you're on a beach you're grabbing some thatch making a little building a hidey hole for yourselves and you want to know the easy basics of pretty much how the building mechanics work in arc this is what we're going to do so we're going to cover a little bit of basics and also maybe some links to a couple of other videos that we've done as far as 101 goes to help you out in those situations so normally you're going to be out on a beach right you just started in just spawned in you're probably going to be on a beach somewhere unless you picked a different spawn but uh, the rules kind of still apply regardless most of the time you're going to be building a thatch structure in the beginning and uh, if you're not familiar with the base building stuff or the beginnings of arc we do have a three episodal kind of series about arc 101 about starting out and how the general game mechanics work but let's say we're out building and we just want to know how some of the niches of the building mechanics work in this in arc so once we craft things we throw them in our inventory right we throw them down in this hot bar down at the bottom you can drag and drop items and structures and all that stuff down here i have a bunch of different types of thatch structures down here just so we can kind of go over those now, as you um, increase your uh, your player level and unlock Ingrams to better structures, you'll actually end up with a couple of more options, things like windows and other stuff like fences and stuff like that too. And even uh, giant gates for like dinosaurs to come in and out of. But we're just gonna go over the thatch stuff. So what we have is uh, typically foundations, some walls, some doorways and, and some ceilings of different shapes and shapes and sizes in general. Uh, so foundations are going to be the first thing that you're probably going to use in most cases unless you're building on pillars and if you're building on sloped ground we also have a video out as far as how to build on uneven ground and we'll have a link to all of those, all of those videos in the description of this one so that you can check those out as well. Uh, foundations are pretty simple right you just place it down and when you place it down other foundations will link to it so once you try to build the other one it'll try to snap to it by itself. Now, tip, there's a couple of other key commands we can use here, but for foundations, it's not really going to apply very much. Now, if you wanted to sink these foundations down, we talked about sinking foundations. There is a video um, along with how to build an uneven ground. There's another video we have as far as sinking foundations and how that works. I would highly suggest checking that out. But for right now, we're not going to mess with that. We're going to assume that this is a good height and this is what we want. So basically, you kind of want to get a floor plan together first. Like and if you're starting off, you probably don't want anything very big. This is just a three by three. So three foundations by three foundations and I'm gonna make one like right here for my little entryway into said abode um, then we're gonna do a pretty cut and dry easy peasy sort of house that isn't just a big box um, so what we're gonna do is slap a doorway right here so when we start building doors and windows and walls and things if you notice if you're on one side of building this stuff it shows up green and then if you're on like sometimes the other side of things it's hard to see because it's bright out here but the other side will actually be blue so what that means is when it's blue that means the inside of the wall or the inside of whatever you're trying to be, uh, make is facing you um, when you're seeing green it means the outside of it is facing you and this is really easy to see with that structures which is why i picked this one so let's say we're going to put our door here right so it's green on one side because that's the outside and then the inside is actually textured completely different so it's textured blue so that way you can kind of tell which way it's facing before you place it um, so let's pick this guy up and show you a couple of other things. So when we're placing the doorway down, there'd be a couple different options. Uh, now, whether you're on console or or, or PC, the, the controls obviously are going to change a little bit, but you'll still have the option to do the same thing. So hitting when you're building something and put and hit E on your keyboard once it's once it's like highlighted but not actually placed, what you're doing is swapping the facing. So you're taking the same when I went with the same snap point and you're just pivoting it from outside to inside. It's all you're doing. And when I say snap point, I mean the point at which it just kind of auto clamps. Like in theory, a foundation has four different snap points all the way around each side. Um, so that is a quick way to just cycle these back and forth. And obviously, like if I place this door down and it was trying to place this way, I don't want it that way because I want the, I want the uh, the inside of the thatch building to kind of face the inside of just hit E and flop it around. You'd be able to do this with walls and windows and ceilings. Uh, well, not necessarily ceilings, but definitely walls and windows and, and door frames. Any, and most most uh, vertical objects, it's pretty much what this is going to apply to for the most part. Um, and then, so we can also do the same thing with walls. And again, I'm seeing the blue side, so that means it's the inside. And on the outside here, I'm seeing the green side. That means it's the outside of that facing. Um, and again, we hit it here. So there's another there's another hotkey that you're going to want to pay attention to, and this is Q on the keyboard here. It will cycle the snap point. So let's say we're going out to this square foundation we place, right? If I hit Q, it will cycle through the snap points that are available in range of me. And what that means, it's, it's just it just toggles in a row in a cycle and it goes through all the different snap points that are available to me within the certain range of my field of vision, right? So I'm able to snap them. Uh, either way on those foundations, either way on those foundations, or I can snap them over here as well. 
Uh, so what we're gonna do is slap these guys down here and we're kind of just gonna go all the way around um, eventually you'll have things like uh, like windows that you might want to replace these with when you unlock wooden structures and stuff but we, with generic batch we actually don't have that option so that's kind of what we're working with right so far so we got a kind of a box in place but we want to make it look a little bit cooler um, just a new we don't just want to make a slant a box so we actually want to put like a sloped roof on it um, so sloped walls, uh, which is four and five on my keyboard, you're gonna have this version and this version, you're gonna have a left and a right. One slopes to the left, one slopes to the right. It's a pretty, pretty simple concept. When you're placing these though, make sure you're using the right one on the right side, right? So if I try to use this one, if I try to hit four and I try to use this one here, obviously it won't switch around. And if I use my key, key commands to snap it around and do that, it's gonna be facing the wrong way. Like I want, you probably want these post pieces facing this inside. This applies to all the different structures, regardless of what material they're making out of it. But seeing as you're probably going to be building out of thatch before you do anything else, this is what we're using. So you want to make sure you're using the right wall. So basically, we want to make sure this guy's here. And again, we want to make sure the outside's facing us because we're on the outside of the building. And then we can even slap a wall right here in the middle. And uh, we're able to walk in and walk out pretty easily. So from the inside, when we're placing these, we want to be able to, we want it blue and we want to see the inside of the structure. So this is actually what we want to see. And then five over here and then slap our wall here. So now we got basically the frame in which our roof is going to go on. We started with the foundation, went to the walls, now we're going to the roof. So we can do flat ceilings or we can do slope ceilings. The reason for these sloped walls here is for slope ceilings. Slope ceilings will snap to them very well. They won't snap to other things quite as well, but they will snap to these. And obviously I can throw it in here. Um, I can change the snap point because you can actually have it snap to the sides of walls and things like that, but we just want it here. So this is where we're gonna put it. Six here, six here, here. And then we're gonna go around here. And bam. Then we're going to get our ceilings in here as well. Bam! There we go. Pretty quick and simple. I mean, obviously, you gotta harvest the resources and stuff, but pretty simple. Now, there's other some other cool things we want to talk about too. So let's say we have a thatch building like this, but we don't like the way that the uh, we don't like the way the foundations look, right? Like I don't like to be able to see those posts. And if you don't like them, what you can actually do is make walls and aim them down and clip them to the side of the foundation. And this works again with any structure. You can actually go downwards so that I don't actually see the little post. You could do something like that all the way around so it looks like it goes all the way flush to the ground if you wanted to. Some, uh, I think it's kind of just a, um, just your opinion really at that point, pretty cut and dry. So what else, what else, what else? Pillars, all right, so pillars are another interesting concept in here and they will technically kind of snap in place but it can be kind of annoying using these guys in vanilla settings if you don't know how they work. All they do is either create or maintain a structural support, right? So with foundations, I can only clip things so far out of a foundation. So the foundation's there, and let's say I just wanna clip a ceiling to this, right? It lets me go one out, lets me go two out, but it'll slow, it'll show up red for this. I can't actually place any more foundations out here. And even with this ceiling, I can't actually, uh, even with this ceiling on the end, I can't actually clip. That's because this foundation is supporting all of this and won't support anything past this, which is kind of a bummer. So you, if you're building uh, a big house or something on stilts or pillars or something like that, you're gonna need a decent amount of them. Pillars work the same general way. Uh, so let's say I wanted to, I don't know, for whatever reason, I wanted to put a roof out here, right? And I wanted to extend this out, but I didn't want the foundations there or whatever. And as you can see, I'm not gonna be able to build anything else because this foundation stops here. Even though it's technically not supporting this, all of these foundations being clipped together, it kind of, uh, the game almost reads it as one big foundation, kind of, sort of. So even though the wall, there's no, there's nothing connecting directly from here and here, it'll still let me go out this far. Basically, it'll let me go two ceilings out from the nearest foundation, which is this guy right here. Two ceilings out from the nearest foundation. Problem is, like I said, you won't be able to clip anything after that, and then you also won't be able to clip any walls or railings. Um, so let's uh, let's let's change this up a little bit. Let's say I wanted to, I don't know, maybe maybe I wanted to make like a like some sort of weird balcony. I don't know why I would want to do that, but let's just uh, let's let's say I do right. Um, let's do this and this, right? So I can build out a little bit, but I can't build anything over here, and that's a bummer. That's where pillars pillars can actually come into play. There's a couple of different ways to do this. Now you can make the ceilings and clip the pillars to the bottom of them, and then work your way down like this which definitely works so long as it's making contact with the ground. 
or I could have just used because uh, pillars will actually kind of work with the snap points that the foundations do. Like this pillar naturally wants to snap into the middle of this foundation. And if I move my cursor over, it evenly spaces it perfectly with this. So I could have just worked my way over like that and gotten to the snap point that I wanted to get to. So I could have done that and then posted another one up next to it and then worked my way up. So you can kind of go bottom out or top up depending on what you're doing. It's just going to be different. But now that this has pillar support, I'll actually be able to build stuff out. Now pillars work the same way. You'll be able to go two things out from a pillar, but I still won't be able to build anything on the very end. Definitely pay attention to that. All right, pick this guy up and pick this guy up too. Let's say, I don't know, we wanted to do like a weird, this is going to look weird. I feel like we're definitely more concerned with showing you how these basics work versus actually doing any of this logically. So the, uh, one of the issues with the like the thatch structures and stuff is you don't have access to like stairs or ramps or windows and things like that. You definitely are going to be more invested in the building stuff when you start to unlock like the wooden structures. Um, and then from there to stone to metal, you're gonna you're just gonna have more options to be a little bit more creative. And you can do stairs now, but then you can also just do ramps as well. And we're just gonna use the stair model for right now. Um, the stairs will clip to the ceilings just as they're supposed to, and then they can clip to each other. But if you notice, I went two out. I don't have any support. I can't put anything here. Nothing works here. Same thing on this side. I'm gonna go stair and then stare and then well oh crap nothing works here same principle that we run into so we have the option of moving getting foundations up underneath of it or we could also do pillars and we could do either option so what i'm going to try to do is actually pillars here to see if this will let me place another stair here nope because it's only going to let me two out so one two and then nothing out so i'd actually have to make something uh supporting these stairs a little bit closer to them we have a couple different options. The easiest one is just gonna be use the foundations here. Then the foundations out like this. And then I should, probably should have hotkeyed this to zero. That'd have made a whole lot more sense. Then I can be able to add the stairs out here. Bam, there we go. Pretty, uh, pretty simple for the most part. There we go. We can finish this out to have like a little pad down here, I guess. And now we can walk up here and stand on this. I don't know why we would deem this, but uh, kind of just a proof of concept more than anything else. Um, that's pretty much the basics of how these things work. It's definitely, it definitely, if you're trying to build something ornate or big or have a game plan of what you're trying to build, highly suggest getting all your floor in first. Get all your foundations in first because it's gonna make building up a lot easier. Get a general design in your head ahead of time. Maybe look at some other builds, uh, some other builds that other people have made and maybe get an idea off of something like that. But definitely start with the floors first, like you would think. Start with the floors, then work your way to the walls, then work your way to the ceiling. Start from the bottom, work your way up. It's pretty self-explanatory. The snap points and the way the foundations work can be something that if you're not entirely versed in will definitely get you. But just remember that if the green is facing you, that's the outside. If the blue is facing you, that's the inside. Definitely make, make sure that you know that. And then also make sure that you know that pillars and foundations, both of these guys will support two ceilings, two ceilings out. You'll be able to build two ceilings out and that's the max. That's it. That's all you're going to be able to do. So definitely keep that in mind when you're building and how you're building it. The problem, and this is kind of something that happens with uh, Vanilla Archibit, the pillar method that we talked about, if you work from the top down in a lot of cases, you end up with this, where the pillar's like sticking up through it a little bit, which can be really annoying. So in most cases, I would highly suggest working from the bottom up and then placing the ceilings down because then they'll clip to the top of them, right? Uh, it's just a snap point thing. But anywho, that's pretty much it. Building basics. I wasn't going to get into anything crazy. I figured this would actually open up the avenue. So if people have more questions about bu building specific things or how to build certain things, you could definitely shoot something in the comments. And uh, that way I know to spit out maybe uh, something a bit more detailed and in-depth. But I figured for a beginning thing, the beginning things... Uh, just the beginning, getting a hut together, getting a little house together. I think these were things that most people will run into and maybe aren't sure exactly how they work. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you. I will see you all next time.